not everybody who buys an electric car is going to have access to a um, NEMA 1450 outlet that will charge it at the, the full possible speed. Um, a normal 120 volt outlet is only going to give you about three or four miles per hour of charge, which will give you, you know, 36 miles for every 12 hours. So if you plug in when you get home and maybe in the morning you'll have um, recovered enough to make your daily commute. And for some people that will be okay. Um, now, Tesla sells an adapter for this little guy, which is a NEMA 520. Uh, the standard household outlet in North America is a NEMA 520. 15. So this is a NEMA 520 and this is about 45 bucks on Tesla's website. So why would you want one of these? Well, this will give you 16 amps um, instead of 12 amps on 120 volts. So if you have a circuit that already um, has a 20 amp breaker, you can just change out the outlet um, for a NEMA 520 outlet, which this is kind of this, you may have seen these in your bathroom or maybe in your garage. Um, and this will give 16 amps of, of power uh, for charging and will give you instead of three or four miles, um, should give you five or six miles, um, which makes a big difference. I mean, over, over uh, 10 hours, you're gonna get, you know, 50 or 60 miles of range. Um, that's that's pretty good compared to, you know, 30 miles of range um, or 40 miles of range um, with the standard uh, outlet. So this was about 20 bucks. Uh, this is the best one that they sold at Lowe's. And um, they do have less expensive versions, but uh, you don't want to go with the cheapest on something that's going to be uh, holding continuous 20 amps. Um, I also bought um, the male and female plugs for this to make an extension cord, which I don't need in my garage, but I do need when I visit my in-laws house, which also has a uh, NEMA 520 outlet. And so for less than 50 bucks uh, in materials, uh, including these, um, and 45 bucks for an adapter, you can get five or six miles uh, per hour of charge. And um, that's actually a good alternative than spending several hundred dollars um, or even over a thousand dollars to get a NEMA 1450 um, installed, especially for renters or, or people who don't um, have the ability to change the location that they're charging at. So, that's uh, that's it. I'm going to go install this. It should take me about an hour, and uh, we'll see how much we get after we switch to a NEMA 520 instead of a NEMA 515. This is the outlet in my garage that I'm going to be um, using for my NEMA 520. Uh, it is a dedicated 20 amp circuit breaker for this, so I don't actually need to do anything. This is the only outlet for it. Um, so I just need to change out the outlet and I'm done. And so I'm going to do that right now. And, uh, if you, if you, uh, if you have an outlet that already has a 20 amp breaker and it's the only thing on, um, on that breaker, you can do the same thing. If you have multiple things on the breaker, um, it's probably not a good idea to be constantly pulling 16 amps from a breaker that's sharing that load with other things you're going to be tripping your breaker all the time and it's not safe. So, uh, let me get to it.
520 outlet. Um, I'm going to go turn on power and uh, let's test it out. There we go. Power's on. No sparks, no drama. Everything's set and we're ready to go. Okay, so we're all done. You can see now we're getting 16 amps. As soon as I plugged it in, I started getting five miles per hour. Right now I'm getting four miles per hour because I have everything in the car turned on. Um, but when everything was shut down, I was getting five miles per hour, which is better than the three miles per hour that we were getting um, on the regular 120. So it definitely helped. And um, for about 20 bucks, if you already have a circuit that's ready for this, um, it's a great upgrade to uh, to get you something more manageable than the, the normal 120. Um, and, I mean, you can always get a 1450 installed. It's just a NEMA 1450 installed. It's just going to cost way more. Um, whereas I actually think that this will handle the majority of the population's needs as far as their daily driving goes. With this, um, we can pull in 50 miles overnight. Um, even when it's cold outside. So I think that's a, that'll handle the majority of people's um, daily driving needs. And uh, it certainly does for me because I was, I was making a buy on the 12 amps and um, just periodic, periodically I would stop at a supercharger. But for the most part, um, I was charging just off the normal 120 12 amps and I was getting all the, the charge that I needed. So now I have a buffer when I need more um, than, than this will, the, the 16 amps um, will make a difference. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And that's it for now. See you guys later.